Hey guys, Justin here. Now that we've successfully migrated our toolkit into our own custom project, we can now create our very first AI character. So let's go into our toolkit's blueprint folder. Now there are two ways in creating our AI character. The first one is to create a child blueprint class of our NPC base. The other one is to if you have an, your own character, you can just add the BP behavior component to it. For now, we're going to do the first option. So go ahead and right click the NPC base and create child blueprint class. Let's name this NPC sample. BP NPC sample. Let's open it up. As you can see, it has all the different options and components that the NPC base has. So right here, the idle settings, all the different behavior settings. If you go into the event graph, and right here in the right hand corner, you can see here are different events for each of the behavior states. You have on begin events and on end events for each of the behavior states. If you click on one of these, so on begin idle, this essentially means that this event will fire when the AI enters the idle state, and so on. If you go into our functions here in the overridables, overrides, you can see we have a bunch of different functions that we can override. We have perform range attack, perform melee attack, on melee attack, on range attack, on damage. So all of these are different functions, events that you can override. For example, this on melee attack is called whenever the AI executes a melee attack. Also has a hit success boolean, which means if the A if the attack successfully hit. One thing to note, however, is if you did the second option, which is if you have your own character and just added the behavior component to it, you will not have these overridable functions. You will just have this events that are linked to the behavior component. So that's the benefit of just making a child blueprint out of the NPC base. You get all these built-in functions. Alright, if we go into our viewport, since the toolkit is component-based, you can essentially do whatever you want with this AI character. If, for example, you wanted to add a inventory system to it, you can do so. If you purchased, for example, an inventory package in the marketplace, you can add that into this AI character just as you would with a player character, just so as long as it doesn't interfere with our behavior component. Of course, you can also change our mesh right here, skeletal mesh, to your own custom mesh. And other options that you would change in a typical character. Again, as long as it doesn't interfere with our behavior component. Alright, in the next videos, we are going to play with the different settings right here, the different behavior states. We are going to go through each behavior state one at a time, starting from the idle state up to the hit state. So, cheers guys!